The flower garden banks. Flower garden banks. Flower garden banks. Flower garden banks. Flower gardens. I had never heard of them. The flower garden banks uh, are made up of three geographically separated um, topographic features in the northwest Gulf of Mexico, about 100 miles south of the Texas-Louisiana border. They're made up of two banks that are capped by true coral reefs, the east and west flower garden bank, and then 30 miles uh, northwest of the west flower garden bank is Stetson Bank, and that's a very different bank. And we do have coral there, but not as much as the true coral reef of the east and west flower garden banks. Um, I had a, uh, an amazing experience with a sea turtle that was um, uh, had fishing line wrapped around her flippers, and it was like she was just waiting for us to go and help her. Um, she just sat there on the sea floor on the sand patch and let me take this uh, line off her, and then after I'd done it, she it was almost like she bowed to me in, in thanks. There were three manta rays waiting for us when we got down to the bottom and they were just swooping and swirling around us. They were about eight to ten feet across and they were just about six feet away from us. And I don't think I came up from that dive thinking if I never dive again, it's okay. I've just had the best dive of my life. It's because it's so prolific. It's 58% live coral cover. For a recreational sport diver, it's a must-see adventure. There are things there that are go things on at the flower garden banks, banks that people will travel people all, over the, all over the world to see. For instance, they'll, they'll go, go um, to Hawaii, to Hawaii to see the manta rays. They'll, 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 they'll go to, go to Mexico, Mexico, Mexico to see the whale sharks, to Australia, Australia, or to Fiji. They'll go to the Galapagos to see hammerhead sharks and spotted eagle rays. We have all of those at the flower garden it's important that they understand that whatever they do, the ocean affects not only the flower garden banks, but everything around them. The ocean provides so much for us. It affects our climate, affects our weather, it affects everything in our lives. And two thirds of the continental U.S. drains into the Gulf of Mexico directly. All the water that runs off the streets, that runs out of people's yards, that goes down the storm drains, all of that eventually ends up at the ocean. And so whatever's in that water, whatever affects that water, whether it's physical pollution, it's fertilizers, it's pesticides, all of those things affect the water quality of the ocean. And if the water quality is not good, then it's not good for anything that lives there. Even though it looks great right now, there may be underlying uh, threats to it and things occurring on a chronic level that uh, they're uh, going to be reducing the resilience of the reef. So we need to be, um, more proactive in our management to protect the reef to stay the way it is. And going into schools and watching the children talk excitedly about the Great Barrier Reef or about their holidays when they went to the Bahamas or they went to Florida and thinking that we have the most beautiful corals and, and marine life right at their doorstep and not knowing about it and not understanding that they all can make a difference just to have a, a, a sense of pride and a sense of stewardship in this important resource that we want to preserve and protect. Conservation of the flower garden banks is important for the same reason that conservation of Yellowstone is important we're losing our biodiversity and we need areas of safe sanctuary. It stands for a symbol of what I hope will be a success. the ocean are my passion. Protect them for me. The Flower Garden Banks is my art inspiration. Please, protect it for me. 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 Ayúdame a protegerlo. Protect it for me. Protect it for me. Protect it for me. Protect it for me.
The Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary is one of the healthiest natural treasures of the world. Today, it is there for me and you to appreciate, but the choices that we make are crucial for its future health. You and me are representatives of this marine sanctuary. It is our responsibility to take care of it. Try.